while in the United States, Mr. Modi is set to lead International Yoga Day celebrations at the United Nations headquarters. The UN adopted the 21st of June as the day to celebrate yoga in 2015. That's a year after Mr. Modi had proposed it in his speech to the General Assembly. Since then, the government has made a massive push to popularize uh, this century's old practice. Ishan Garg looks at how yoga has become a soft power tool for India. These yoga sessions can be great for your strength, flexibility and even mental peace. But when Prime Minister Narendra Modi leads a session like this at the UN headquarters in New York with the top UN diplomats in attendance, it's likely to be perceived as something greater. An example perhaps of India exporting successfully a piece of its cultural heritage and now wielding it as a soft power tool. Mr. Modi says India's motto is Yoga for Peace. It's a message that his government has propagated with much gusto in the nine years that he's led the country. And analysts say it's a clever move which carefully projects India's image as a reliable, friendly nation. Any existing Indian administration should be able to use the tools it has as it, at its disposition to promote the use or rather the image of India, which India largely has been as a you know, a regional power or as a superpower or as an emerging superpower, which is not confrontational. I think yoga plays into that overall image of a country as a responsible and as a benevolent power, which is not confrontational, which is not keen to instigate conflict. As India walks a diplomatic tightrope between the West and Russia during the war in Ukraine, it's on subjects like yoga that the country can hope for undivided support from the international community. Political experts say this burnishes an image PM Modi has often painted for his domestic followers that India is on track to becoming a quote-unquote Vishwaguru or leader of the world. Today, yoga is the whole world is being established. Yoga is a Pranali pranali which we can control our body, our mind, our mind, our mind, our emotions. Today, this is the whole world. So, this is a pranali, this is the whole world. 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 That everyone has to finish the bad things. Everyone has to do it. And to do it, there is a whole world. And yoga, when everyone is doing it, when everyone is doing it, when everyone is doing it, जैसे कि प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने एक तरह से ये आह्वान सारी दुनिया में करवाया और 21 जून आज जो है पूरे अंतर्राष्ट्रीय देवल लेवल पे इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे योग दिवस के रूप में मनाया जाता है इसका एक बहुत ही सकारात्मक प्रभाव सारी दुनिया पे पड़ेगा। For many of Mr. Modi's supporters, it's also important that he's popularizing a piece of India's heritage. It's a sign for them that the country is finally getting rid of its colonial vestiges and Western traditions, a key promise the Bharati Janata Party has made over the years. Before, Rishi Muni had yoga, but the yoga was lost. Now, there are many Guru people who are doing yoga on top of yoga. Modi Ji has been increased and has been increased to everyone's home. दो चार बहुत सारे योग टीचर हैं जो योगा को बहुत बढ़ावा दे रहे हैं आप घर घर में लोग योगा कर रहे हैं ये मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है कि लोग घर घर में योगा करें स्वस्थ रहें now, yoga, a meditative and sometimes difficult physical routine, has become a celebration of India's cultural pride. According to official figures, 220 million people participated in events organized by the government on the International Day of Yoga last year. And it claims that yoga promotion activities by the Ayush Ministry, which was set up in 2014 to promote traditional medicinal practices, reached more than 1.2 billion people globally. This is despite some critics claiming that Mr. Modi's Bharatiya Janata Party is using yoga as a means to a political goal. Even though this practice of yoga is perhaps centuries or even millennia old, Mr. Modi has very much made it his own project. These videos on his YouTube page show him teaching people various physical postures. And analysts say that it's in ways like this that he's managed to tie yoga's popularity to that of his own. Ishan Garg, CNA, New Delhi.